Good afternoon, everybody. Oh, that got loud. I appreciate you not all standing up and walking out after the, uh, uh, the last speakers. I appreciate that. I have one quick announcement and then um, 20 or 30 pages of content that I want to go through. Um, the one announcement I need to make is uh, kind of a reiteration about the SWIGMAT meeting. Um, the SWIGMAT meeting begins tomorrow morning, 8.30, and the location for the subgroup meetings are right on the bulletin board outside that door. That's the first announcement I have. Uh, Mr. Hirich may have some in a little bit. Just to remind you, my name is Kerry Oyen. I'm chief of the Trace Evidence Unit of the FBI Laboratory. Um, just a couple of things, actually. It's really not 40 pages. This has been a fantastic week. I think everybody will agree to that. And what I want to say is, on behalf of Dr. DeZeno, the director of the FBI laboratory, and for the record, a former trace evidence examiner, I want to extend our thanks to our co-sponsors in this symposium, the National Institute of Justice and the National Forensic Science Technology Center. Uh, without their support, truly without their support, this symposium would not have been possible. So thank you to them. I have a couple of other people that need to be acknowledged. Um, the first one is rather a joy to acknowledge this one. Um, I need to single out Sandra Cook. Sandra is a member of my unit in the Trace Evidence Unit. Go ahead and stand up, Sandy. Go ahead. <laughs> Sandy was the one that took this idea. It's not an original idea, but we, we seem to be in an 11-year cycle for these hair and trace evidence symposiums, but she took the idea and she ran with it. She was the one that made the initial inquiries and the initial contact, contacts, excuse me, contacts that resulted in this symposium. Um, during that initial exploration, Sandy was paired up with Robin Jones, standing in the back, <laughs> from the National Institute of Justice. And they spent countless hours, countless days, I guess you can probably keep going, setting this up and planning this whole process. Finally, we need to acknowledge Jocelyn Williams, again, also in the back of the room. <laughs> who made sure that this whole process went fluidly and efficiently. So thank you to all of those people that I just named. Um, finally, or not finally, I've got a couple more. I also need to thank the steering committee for their contributions to the content of this symposium. I think we can agree that they did an excellent job in putting together this program. And I want to name off the people, because I don't believe, it's in your packet, but I don't believe we've actually named off all the members of the steering committee. And if they're here, feel free to rise. I don't want to embarrass anybody that's not here. But Jose Almoral. Peter DeForest, David Exline, Robin Jones, Sandra Cook, Amy Michaud, Sandy Parent, James Robertson, Jenny Smith, and Ken Wiggins. Thank you for all of the hard work that you did. I'm getting there, I promise. Actually, to be honest, I did have about two or three more pages on my thoughts on what I have seen throughout this symposium. And it would have gone on and on, but actually I can summarize it in two words. And I'm going to steal from Mr. Bisbing those two words, which echo what I have been thinking throughout this whole symposium, and that's talk back. We need to talk back. We need to educate, pick somebody your peers, your trainees, the media, everybody. Educate them on what we do, how we do it, and why we do it. So with that, um, I want to thank you all for your attendance. Um, all of the, thank all of the AV people who have put together what we hope to see, I guess, on the internet later on, a wonderful package, and certainly the Sheraton Sand Key. And I wish you all a safe and blessed journey home. Thank you. Thank you.